In an audacious financial gambit that's sending shockwaves through political and legal circles, Donald Trump has thrown the gauntlet down, opting to channel a colossal $500 million war chest into his relentless pursuit of the Oval Office, sidelining a staggering $454 million New York civil fraud judgment. This bold move isn't just about dollars and cents, it's a high-stakes strategy that pits Trump's presidential ambitions against pressing legal entanglements, spotlighting his unyielding prioritization of political conquest over existing legal dues. As the legal saga unfolds, Trump's financial maneuvering becomes a spectacle of its own, painting a picture of a billionaire ensnared in a complex web of legal obligations and political aspirations. This isn't merely a tale of financial reserves being shuffled on the grand chessboard of American politics, it's a narrative fraught with implications for Trump's business empire, legal standing, and electoral strategy. Amidst this tumultuous backdrop, Trump's decision to earmark substantial funds for his campaign over settling the New York judgment has ignited a firestorm of debate. Observers are left to ponder the implications of his financial strategy, as Trump navigates the treacherous waters of courtrooms and campaign trails. This saga of monetary claims, legal maneuvering, and electoral ambitions unfolds, offering a gripping glimpse into the financial and political calculus of one of America's most polarizing figures. In weaving this intricate tapestry of financial dilemmas and electoral focus, Trump's story is more than just a billionaire's budgetary choices, it's a compelling narrative of a man at the crossroads of legal accountability and political ambition, challenging the very norms of American political and legal frameworks.